Well, it's Friday, February 18th or 19th. I'm retired, so I don't really care. I have my Harbor Freight sawmill been sitting here a week. Because it's so cold below zero, I haven't done anything with it. So I decided to at least take it out of the package and then put it, set it up in here in the shed. So my, my weights on the plastic are an ice auger, broken snow shovel number one. Broken snow shovel number two. It's been a hard winter here this this year. Dillon, South Carolina, Harbor Freight Central Purchasing Shipper. Weight seven hundred and twenty two pounds. Ordered it February 1st, it came February 11th, 10 days. Dillon, South Carolina, 29 of 54. Must have been a, a uh, pallet of them on a ship made in China. So, it says, warning, before you sign for this delivery, you must note any damage. Well, of course I didn't do that. Four bands and shrink wrap. No, three bands and shrink wrap. Okay, so I am filming. frame. I'll surely have something I can use that for. Pretty hefty. Look at that. A bed frame for the hunting cabin. Got legs on it. Just need a mattress. Okay, here is the exciting part. Oh. Let's take a look down in the box. I'll move the tripod over. Okay, there is the motor and the whole bandsaw unit on that side. Well, the cardboard will come out here, I guess. I'll save all these cardboard for uh, something good. Everything else in there is in this series of boxes. And the length of the longest boxes are probably the cracks. It's about three, six, 
maybe seven feet long. Seven degrees this morning, but it's supposed to get up to 17, and it's been below zero. Well, it was below zero already this morning, but only a couple degrees below. All week long, well, last two weeks, it's been something like uh, 20 below to 30 below in northwest Wisconsin. I expect I'll work on it and then go in and thaw out a little bit and then do some more work. Pretty nice uh, frame in there. I saw on YouTube somebody made a work table out of one of these, tipping it upside down. something good. These are pretty heavy boxes. So let's see what's in box number one, shall we? Something rolls in there. Get my Master Force Menards cheap box cutter. Oh, I recognize. These are the uprights that hold the hold the uh, whole saw unit that run down the tracks. Let's see. I guess it would run this this way. So there's one of those. Boy, it's nicely heavily built. That's good. The welds look fine. Two uh, brack or a bracket. <coughs> Another one. hardware, I think, for this. <coughs> now, as I not going to build this part first, I am going to put the pieces back in it. Old school desks 
make really good uh, little work tables. This is one I used for a while for a router table. <clears throat> now if we drop down into the box, the second Not too bad, probably oh, 50 pounds. The water braid blade lubricator. Another piece with the cable and the crank. So this is all part of that same vertical bandsaw mounting thing, not the track yet. So we'll set that to the side. Now we have some long ones, and uh, yeah, this is not going to tip over on me, so I can take out the long piece here. Looks like some more of the uh, pipe, a square pipe. Probably more of the parts for the bandsaw. <clears throat> now we've got what's left in the boxes inside, besides the bandsaw itself, are two long tubes that are surely the rails, or the track, I guess we'd call it. So that's the part you put together first. I imagine those are heavy. They probably have not only the tracks, but the cross pieces in them. Maybe it would be easier for me to open it. And take out the part without lifting the whole box out. Well, that's the cross pieces in there. Let's see if we can open it up enough so we can see it. These are what the actual logs sit on. There must be four or five of those. I shouldn't. I can count them, but let's look over here.
they set between the tracks, bolted down like this, this side up as I recall. This you put a square tube in, the log goes up against it this way. So there'll be like four, I guess four of these maybe. And then two side tracks. So what I've got out is those. So let's see what others. Three. That's all that's in the first box of those. There's several other things in there. These, I believe, are what the log rolls up against. Something like that, maybe. And then the log goes up against it. There's supposed to be two sets. One tall set and one short set. So here's a short one. I think that's what these are. Yeah, we'll have to study it on the... Uh, here is a crank. That's for raising and lowering the uh, uh, bandsaw. This is actually a mech mechanism. Oh, that's probably the actually the thing that dogs the log into the. Let's see. I'm going to bring out the rest of that big box now that I got it mostly empty. <clears throat> Another short one. Another box of bolts labeled number three. Oh, and this is part of that, uh, what we call the dog or the log holder that holds the thing in place. One last box in there. Let's go look at it. That has to be the track, huh? Oh. Yeah, that's heavy. My hands are just about froze up. It's still not up to 10 yet. The sun is just coming around to start shining on the back of this and it will soon be I'll soon be in the bright sun. But I'm going to open this one, then go in and warm up a little bit before I go. There's another one of those cross pieces. So there were four of those. I'll put that over by the other. What I see in there is four 
bolt number four. A pipe. Here. And essentially, four, maybe something like seven foot tracks. Oh, and a fifth cross piece here. So that's good. You had five of those. I knew that when I looked at the picture, but I didn't uh, remember it. So really the steps are now is pull out each of these four pieces, bolt them together, bolt on those five cross pieces, and that's sort of the track part. And then you start building the stand for this, and then when you get that done, you uh, get two people at least. Lift it onto there. Gloves are slippery, and my fingers are good and heavy material, that's for sure. I'm going to assemble it in my really messy garage. Whoop, here. So rather than point you towards the mess, I'll point this towards the opening. So I have room enough to put this and then the next one in next to it and stay in the garage for now. I do intend to put it up outside eventually. Okay, my fingers have froze. I got it unwrapped and I got the idea. Now I'll go in and warm up my fingers.